Hello, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Natasha Denona Gold Palette. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. So a quick rundown about the major facts of this guy. Uh, it is currently available right now on Sephora.com, but it will be available in stores on October 10th. It is also available on Beautylish.com, though right now at the current moment it is sold out. The palette is $129. Online it doesn't say anything as to whether or not it is limited edition, but Natasha Denona said that she thought this palette was going to be huge. So if it goes well, I think that it probably isn't going to be limited edition. It is a part of her holiday collection or one of her holiday releases. It contains 15 brand new eyeshadow shades, though I'm telling you later on in the video that not all of them are new, and it contains a multitude of different finishes. So really quickly, let's go into the packaging of this guy. So it comes in this reflective gold packaging that's obnoxious to show on camera, but it's really pretty. It's the same soft packaging as her older palettes like the Sunset and the Lila palette. Her two most recent palettes, the Tropic and the Safari, those were plastic packaging, which I really like those. But yeah, it is the old packaging. Just something quick to note, this product is made in Italy. I do find makeup up in Italy to be a bit of a higher standard, a little bit better quality, so I did like to mention that. Anyways, let's open up the palette to reveal these 15 beautiful shades. As you can see, it is based on a gold color scheme. However, there are two blue colors and a couple more green shades just to give the palette a little bit more interest. That being said, if you cover up this outer row over here, it just becomes a pretty regular gold shadow palette which I think a lot of people wouldn't be as interested in but I'm telling you now these four shades are gorgeous it has so a really a great mix of different finishes there's mattes there's satins there's metallics there's glitters all of that great stuff so there are two colors for sure that I know are in her other palettes it's this first one here log this is the shade Ignis in the sunset palette and this shade over here, Aurora, was in the holiday palette last year. Really quickly, I'm going to show you the swatches so you can just see how beautiful they look at the arm and how reflective a few of them are. I really like the overall color scheme of this. I think it is very user-friendly. A lot of people are going to love these colors, but of course, if you do want to get a little bit of a crazier look, you do have the option with those blues and the little bit of the green duochrome colors. As you can see, the look I did today is not neutral at all but if I wanted to go for a neutral look I definitely could so going over the formula of these shadows there are five mattes in here and they all swatched beautifully creamy and they blend it out like a dream this beautiful mustard color Dijon I use that as my all-over transition color and I didn't set my base and it blended out so beautifully you'll see that kind of in the mini tutorial I'm going to show at the end of this video I would say for the most part that the matte shades aren't that unique besides that Dijon color but they're 100% necessary for a palette I think they're just great browns that you can build different depths with and the quality is really creamy so I am happy that those are in there just because you're going to use them. Those are the colors that I personally use the most. There is one satiny matte right here. I use that color in the outer corner of my eye and it blended absolutely beautifully. Usually a lot of blues have a lot of problems blending but with that guy I found the pigment didn't blend away and it blended beautifully. So I'm really into that color. She also has almost this wet shimmer formula which you're going to find in this one, this one, and this one, and they are beautiful. This color in particular swatches for days. It's one of those colors where you swatch it and it goes all the way down your arm. It is absolutely stunning, but those are the typical Natasha Denona shimmer formulas, and I am so into them. They feel almost wet to the touch. They're so creamy and so pigmented. She also has a beautiful kind of lime duochrome shade. A little bit more on the sheer side but on the lid I think that it's beautiful it's not too overpowering but it still is very interesting on the eye you'll notice that she has three glitter shades right here right here right here they're her chroma crystal formula now what's very important to know about these shadows is that they are not pigmented these are meant to be sheer 
This blue in particular is going to look gorgeous all over the lid. I personally would like it built on top of another color so I can get that blue base. So I would layer this on top of that formula to really get the full effect of it because it is quite sheer and can be a bit disappointing when swatching it, but on the lid it's fine. And of course, these two colors, you will notice when you swatch them that they are very sheer. They don't look like much can't even really see them but all over the lid they are going to look so gorgeous with a simple brown in the crease and a wash of those crystal shades it's going to look absolutely stunning so they're not meant to be pigmented they are meant to be sheer and i love shadows like that it, they're really great as lid toppers but also just all over the lid anyways now the formula i want to talk about I don't know what the heck kind of formula this is, but this formula down here for this shade is ridiculous. It is wet, it is pigmented, it is one of the most reflective eyeshadows in a pan that I have ever seen in my entire life. I put it all over my lid, which by the way, when I was doing my eye look, I didn't experience any fallout really. There was a little bit of fallout with this guy, but it really wasn't anything too alarming. This is a cream shadow or something. It is ridiculously reflective, so pigmented. It's best applied with the finger, of course. I need a palette with all eyeshadows in this formula because it is absolutely stunning. I really feel like Natasha Denona got her groove back with this eyeshadow palette. This palette is expensive. It is $129. And so when you buy a palette that expensive, I expect every single color to work beautifully. And truly this is one of those palettes that it really does. Of late, her eyeshadow palettes have been a little bit Eh, with the people very mixed reviews her shimmer formula in particular I've been very questionable about it just hasn't seemed like her regular eyeshadow formula that there was in her 28 pan palettes she is back and she did not play around this palette is even prettier in person than it is online honestly I opened it and I just was so shocked at how beautiful and shimmery and glittery this palette is so if you're thinking about getting it I really don't think you're going to be disappointed with it I don't think it's it's completely unnecessary in your collection but if you are a collector and you are a fan of Natasha Denona and you do have the money to spend on it I think I, I like this more than Sunset and I like it more than Leela as well I really really like it I was looking at this palette compared to the other palettes in her collection and I really do feel as if this is a unique enough palette to add to your collection I feel like Natasha got it back this was for sure a hit so really quickly I'm just gonna show you what I did to create this look. I only used like three or four eyeshadows. So I started off with Dijon in my transition area and I just want you to look at how beautifully that blended all over my crease. And then using a small blender brush, I took the shade Python and I really focused that in my outer corner and blended it in towards my crease. Uh, it did take a little bit of patience, but that's just because I didn't want the blue to go everywhere and look like I got punched in the face. But it did blend out beautifully, which I was very impressed by. I finally went in with the shade Brass, that amazing cream reflective color, and I put that all over my lid, and this is just the star of the palette, if you ask me. I absolutely love it. And then I did go on with a bit of Spark, which is that Chroma Crystal Duochrome color that's very sheer, and I put that a little bit in my inner corner just to see how it would do, and I'm into it. I really like it. So overall, I would rate this palette a 10 out of 10. I... I'm into it. I think it's good. These are the kind of colors you're looking for. Quality wise, you're not going to be disappointed. The variation of finishes in this really make it worth it, I think. And the quality is just, she's back to her old stuff, guys. This is really good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel, comment down below any questions or concerns you may have, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!